how to get a better camera angle but for now I guess this will work um so um I'm thinking I'm gonna start up a YouTube channel so if you're watching this then it happened um but basically what I want to do is talk about health um nutrition losing weight um exercise you know all that good stuff um especially with like the new year coming up a lot of people are going to have those kind of resolutions but i am starting today okay so um this video is going to be my introduction it's going to be a little bit about me a little bit about what i'm hoping to get out of this channel um and um all that fun jazz so as you can tell i'm driving i drive about an hour and a half to school every day monday through friday right now um to college park university of maryland um and i am a nutrition major over there dietetics and i'm also a personal trainer at the university of maryland um so um yeah so um that's why i'm driving that's why it um shows here that i'm driving anyways okay so um basically what i'm trying to do with this youtube channel is to help people if they're trying to lose weight if they're trying to learn how to eat healthier if they're trying to figure out how to um exercise stuff like that this is mainly going to be um for beginners um but i mean you might learn some other stuff if you already know a little bit about um you know exercise nutrition there might be some things that you didn't know um but firstly about me um so i was always on the heavier side i am part of a family who is um like i guess you would say like the heavier side like with the women um we have big hips you know it's um like oh being overweight like runs in my family um so when i was growing up i didn't really know that much about nutrition about health i didn't really care <laughs> i just wanted to eat what i wanted to eat and so as a result i gained like a good bit of weight um during my childhood and even when i became an adult and when i found my husband and uh got comfortable in our relationship um we like I, I gained like more weight <laughs> and it got so bad that I gained about 50 pounds while we were together so and you know it, it just happens like it you don't keep track of stuff your clothes start getting bigger so then you clothes start, start getting tighter so you buy bigger clothes you know and but you don't think that much about it until you think back like wow you know like I have gained a bit of weight so then you're stuck thinking okay now what uh you know like how do i get back you know and it seems really overwhelming and like it m makes it so that you don't want to even try like it seems like like i mean you, your experience might be different but for me personally i didn't even want to you know diet i was like so upset i was like i want to get thinner but i don't want to stop eating <laughs> you know like it was bad so um, basically, like, what happened was one day I was like, I'm gonna get serious about this. I'm sick of gaining weight. I'm sick of not seeing what I want to see in the mirror. I'm sick of knowing what I can look like and not looking like that. So, uh, basically, I was really brutally honest with myself, like, you've got to cut this out. And I decided to start a diet. And by diet, I mean, like, diet gonna restrict my calories I'm gonna eat fruits I'm gonna eat vegetables you know like I was like uh, thinking about the typical you know your typical diet so um I started out you know um just counting calories trying to cut out as much bad foods as I could like you know the stuff that I just knew was bad like the fried foods fast food stuff like that cut those out um and then after a while I switched from being like okay cutting out the bad foods to like okay I'm gonna try to include as much good food as I want so like vegetables that was always something that I struggled with including into my diet and so I um, was thinking like okay how many new vegetables can I try out how many you know vegetables can I include into my diet you know stuff like that and 
so it really switched like my kind of mind frame switched from like cutting out all the bad stuff to like including the good stuff so I think that's really important whenever you're thinking about dieting about losing weight things like that it's not so much of like restricting yourself it's more of like what can I do to best benefit my body type of thing so um you know, after a while, like it, I started dropping weight quickly. I was 227 pounds at the beginning. So my first week, I think I lost like seven pounds. My second week, like five pounds, you know, it really kept going like that. Um, it was really easy for me to drop the weight because I was being consistent with counting calories. I was being consistent with telling myself no to certain foods and really kind of doing my best with including those good foods. I wasn't perfect, of course, you know, sometimes I gave in, sometimes, sometimes I did like eat fast food. Um, awkward. This is another thing that like over time I'll uh, get more used to, you know, and uh, be able to <laughs> uh, prevent that. So, basically, like, I wasn't perfect. I would assign a specific day that I could have, like, a cheat meal. Not a cheat day, but one cheat meal. But I would tell myself, like, okay, but you can't go overboard with it. Um, like, even though it was, like, a cheat meal, like, I wasn't like, oh, yeah, let me eat a good one all. You can eat buffet. Eat all of it. You know, it was more of, like, a serving size of a food that wasn't part of my diet no <laughs> you know so it wasn't bad like um like one time I went to Buffalo Wild Wings and got a chicken wrap and it was a lot of calories so I cut it in half and I just had half of it and I think I saved the other half for the next day because um you don't want all of those calories being in the same day but you can spread them out you can have you know some of your calories one day and then the next day have you know the other calories so that's the type of thing that I would do and like I said, I dropped weight quickly and I was very like surprised at my results, but I was also really, really proud of myself. I was working hard and it was paying off. It was, <laughs> hey. I was working hard, it was paying off and it became so that it wasn't that hard. Um, so sorry. It wasn't that hard after a while. Um, I got used to it. I started enjoying it. It was like so normal. Like I didn't crave sweets anymore. Sweet stuff was too sweet. Um, I got used to the foods that, um, I could have and I would look forward to them. Like uh, there's a lot of foods that you don't have to give up. You just have to make modifications. Like, um, I love tacos. Tacos are like my one true love. Don't tell my husband, but they are. Um, so what I did was like I used 93% lean ground beef, reduced fat cheese, um, either no sour cream or light sour cream, baked tortilla chips, um, and tons of lettuce, you know, like that type of thing. And really paying attention to the serving sizes too. I would not eat like two serving sizes of anything. Like the chips, if it says 14 chips, I'm eating 14 chips. I'm not eating 15, 16, blah, blah, blah. I mean, give or take one or two. That's fine. But I'm saying, like, if, you know, if I just feel like, oh, but I want more chips, you know, I wouldn't go back. I would be like, okay, well, this is what I put on my plate. I'm not going back. That's another thing. You don't eat anything out of the bag. You put it on a plate. You put it in a bowl. You put it in a container so that you can't eat more than a serving size. That's, I'll, I'll talk about, like, little tips and tricks like that. But um, that's one of them. Do not eat from the bag. So... Basically, my journey became, um, like, just normal to me. Like, it was normal to eat healthy. Like, I got so used to it. So, then, um, I started exercising. At first, I was working at a bank, so I would stand, um, and that was, like, what my, like, exercise was. I would, like, walk with friends because it was the summer, or I would, um, like, kind of challenge myself to stand as long as I could at work. Um... But I didn't really like exercise exercise at first. I started getting into yoga and 
so that was more of like a relaxing thing. It um, really calmed my mind and set me up for a good day. And I would do it in the morning. And uh, it would help with balance, a little bit of strength, flexibility, you know, all those good things. And it would make my day like a little bit better whenever I did my yoga. This is tea, by the way. Tea is your best friend if um, you currently drink coffee with creamer because those are a lot of calories, but tea is not. Tea is like five calories or like less or whatever. I'm talking like this is hot tea. It's like fruit flavored. It's like sweet, but it's not any calories basically. And it also has caffeine. So anyways, um, so I started out doing yoga and that was really good. And then um, I eventually was like, hey, I'm going to start running. I, at the very, very beginning of my diet, I tried running like a few times and I was like really proud of myself, but it was just so hard. You know, I was like 225 pounds. Like I had not ran in, you know, years. So it was really hard on my system. Uh, I also have asthma. Um, like exercise induced asthma but when I get into good exercise habits I don't need an inhaler or anything but at that point because it was so much strain on my body so much strain on my like lungs and stuff like I needed my inhaler in order to run so it was really just causing me so much like kind of stress and um it was just really hard <laughs> and it would also increase my appetite because that's one thing about exercising um is that it can uh make you hungrier so I tended to overeat after I ran because I was thinking like, oh, well, I exercised, I can eat. Or like, just my appetite would be so big. I'd be like, like, I'm so hungry. Like, I want to eat more. But so that's why I cut it out. Um, like I tried running during like my first week of my diet, but it just didn't work out. But about six months in to my diet, I had lost 50 pounds. I was able to lose 50 pounds because like I said, my very first week I lost like seven pounds and then five pounds and then I was consistently losing like three pounds a week. So after I had lost 50 pounds, I was about like 180 and I wanted to keep up with it. My goal was originally to weigh 180 and after I got my goal, I was like, let's keep going. Like, I feel good. Like, like let's keep going. There was no reason to stop. <laughs> So, and I wasn't at a healthy weight yet either. I wasn't where I wanted to be yet. So I was like, even though my goal was originally 50 pounds, I want to keep going. So, um, I started exercising at the gym, um, because I had lost 50 pounds. I felt a lot lighter. I felt like really a, like a more capable. Um, so I would challenge myself. I'd be like, okay, run for one minute and then, you know, like walk for, you know, like five minutes and then run for one minute. You know, I would cycle back and forth between running and walking. And, um, and by running, I mean jogging. It was not late running, running. So that's how, how I got my start. And eventually I got good at it. I got good at running and I would keep challenging myself like, okay, can I run for 10 minutes? Can I run for 15 minutes? Can I run for 20 minutes? My goal was to run for 30 minutes straight. So I reached that goal and I kept going. Like once a week, I would, I would go to the gym like five times a week. Um, and I would just run. Sometimes I'd run like, you know, um, do like interval training sometimes I would do like strength training sometimes I would do like um like endurance running so but it mainly was running at first I didn't get into strength training until a little bit after but um and I'll talk more about exercise later and how I got into exercise specifically but um and like the trainings how I started my strength training and stuff but basically, I had a goal of running for 30 minutes straight, and I was able to reach that goal. So then I kept challenging myself, because once a week, I would do that endurance running kind of thing. So I would just kind of run, see how far I could get, 
some days I felt great and I was like, yeah, you know, I can keep this up. Some days I was just tired and, you know, if it's been a long week, if it's, you know, uh, maybe I didn't have proper nutrition, proper sleep, it would really affect, you know, my uh, exercise capabilities. So I wouldn't be able to really like make any like new records. But um, sometimes I'd be like, like, oh wow, 35 minutes. Oh wow, 40 minutes, you know. I got all the way up to 50 minutes, I think, of like running straight at like a 5.5 mile per hour speed. So that's not bad. Um, and that's when I decided to start training for 5Ks. So I would train for 5Ks. Um, my best time is like 28 minutes and 33 seconds. Um, and after um, like getting into running and stuff, I started getting into strength training. And I would do both, but then I went to this place called Strength Camp in Hagerstown, and um, they really like, they really know what they're doing. <laughs> it was like a hit, kind of like high intensity interval training slash like, you know, weightlifting slash like, you know, just to build muscle, like straight up muscle. So I went there for a few months, um, for like six months. And so I got like really used to like weightlifting at that point and really like upped my strength training game. Um, I kind of fell behind on my running a little. I would still run, but um, I really did like strength training. Um, and I got, um, like I was like with them doing strength training and stuff. And by the way, my lowest weight was when I was like running consistently. And then for a while I, like stopped running but I was still like counting calories and stuff my lowest weight was 150 and I was like really lean like I didn't have that much muscle so I'm not talking toned I'm talking like I wasn't exactly skinny but like uh I didn't have much muscle and I didn't have much fat on me either so I was like I don't know that was like the lowest I've been but I wasn't like I wasn't really running like competitively at that point I was like sometimes I would go running I wasn't consistent with it, and I don't have muscle. So whenever I went to a strength camp, I wanted to build muscle. So um, I went there and really got into, you know, kind of like a really muscular kind of shape. And um, I also decided to become a personal trainer because I just love it. I love exercise. I love teaching other people how to exercise. Same with nutrition. I love nutrition and teaching other people how to properly, you know, nourish their body. So, um, figured it would be like a really good career for me. So I, um, became a personal trainer. Um, I can talk more about that in another video, but, um, basically after I became a personal trainer and, um, I was going to community college at that point and, um, I now, um, go to University of Maryland because of nutrition and like I said I'm a personal trainer there um I have gained some weight though because I got out of my habits and for me it's like a cycle when I'm in the cycle I'm doing good I have good nutrition have good exercise habits you know I'm really like it's the forefront of my mind but then other things come in and to like you know trading schools and you know new semester you know all that stuff it kind of sidetracks me and so lately I've been sidetracked I want to lose weight I want to get into good exercise habits and since I want to do it I'm going to do it that's the kind of mentality you have to have when you decide to um really put action into um like put your plans into action you just have to have this mindset of like this is what I want I'm gonna go for it so this is what I want. I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to tell y'all how uh, my progress is and keep y'all updated on my journey um, for the second time around. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's a continuous journey. You're not always going to, you know, be where you, with the weight that you want to be. It's, you know, it can fluctuate and um, life happens sometimes. You, you can't be too hard on yourself, but you need to remember what you want and go for it so um so yeah basically um this is day one of my new diet um i really want to lose weight and um start exercise habits and stuff 
like I said, um, and I have the knowledge, I just gotta put the knowledge into action. So, basically, this is day one. Um, and I have um, a, a tea in my hand instead of coffee because that'll cut out some calories and some sugar. So this is unsweetened hot fruity tea and it's really good. Also, um, I did have cinnamon raisin toast today, but it's because it's, it was what it is in my kitchen. And I'll just kind of look at my carbs later on today. Try to reduce the carbs where I can. Um, because even though carbs are not bad, carbs aren't bad, but you have to kind of look at whether you're having too many. You have to have a balance between carbs, fat, and protein. Um, all three are going to benefit you in one way or another, but a lot of times people go a little too heavy on the carbs and that's what leads to weight gain. Um, I'll do another video on like nutrition basics, but basically just today I'm talking about day one. Um, so I did not weigh myself today, but I weighed myself yesterday, so I'll use yesterday's weight. Um, so, um... I'll be honest, like, I weigh 200 pounds. Um, I didn't think that I would get up to here, and, like, I gained, like, 10 pounds in this last, like, month. I don't even know what happened. But, um, basically, like, I have not been tracking my eating in, like, the longest time. And also, even though I am a personal trainer and I'll work out with my clients, I'll, like, and I'll do, like, strength training and stuff, like, every now and then, but, um, I don't have a consistent schedule. Um, and I also haven't been running. So I want to do more running and I want to lift more weights on a consistent basis. So that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm not perfect. Um, even though I'm a personal trainer, even though I'm, you know, a nutrition major, like I'm not perfect, but I want to be a good representation of the passions that I have. So that's why I'm doing this. And that's why I want to help other people by making this video. Just in case somebody else can, you know, try their own journey along with me. So. Um, basically, yeah, like I said, this is day one, um, for the, um, meals that I have later, um, I do pack my lunch, planning is key, plan is everything, whenever you're talking about losing weight, dieting, you know, you need to plan what you eat, because otherwise, um, like, I was just thinking about it this morning, like, oh man, I didn't pack a dinner, and I'm like, if I don't pack a dinner, I'm gonna try to go, like, fast food or something, because obviously I have to eat, um, like I travel, you know, a lot, so, um, I'm not home a lot, so I need to pack, basically, I eat my breakfast, um, I pack lunch, snacks, and dinner, um, so, you know, this morning I was like, wait a minute, I didn't pack a dinner, like, if I don't pack one, um, I'm gonna eat, like, fast food, so, I have cans of soup in my pantry, I just grabbed a can of soup, so, um, so that's what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm going to have a can of soup. Um, a soup is low calorie, um, usually. You, know, you need to avoid the creamy ones, but things like chicken noodle soup, as long as you're looking at the sodium content, um, 2,300 milligrams per day is the recommendation. And a lot of soups have about like 900 milligrams or more. And so if you, you know, eat the whole can, that's 1,800 which is over, it's like about like half of your, you know, daily requirement. And you think about the salt that's in other foods, basically anything that's going to be packaged is going to have salt in it, especially frozen foods and stuff because salt is a preservative. It's a cheap preservative that uh, food companies can use. So there's like a lot of salt in and like everything. So soup is one of those things that you can easily like look at the sodium content, decide whether it's, you know, acceptable for you. I would say 600 is probably like acceptable. That's what I like aim for um, because it's hard. Like if you want to eat soup, like it's just, it's gonna have salt in it, uh, but you can drain out some of the broth and add a little bit of water back in so that it can kind of like um, dilute it. It can kind of, you know, lessen the salt. Um, so that's, you know, yeah, that's my dinner. That's why I have soup. Um, I also have carrots and I have low fat cheese. Um, I really like pairing cheese and carrots together. Um, it's a good snack for me, and cheese is not bad as long as you get the low-fat kind. Um, if you go on choosemyplate.gov, which is the government's nutrition site, 
plates because it shows that dairy is a part of their, um, instead of a food pyramid, they have a plate. So dairy is part of the plate. Um, it's just off to the side, a little cup. Um, and, but they say like reduce fat or low fat, um, like dairy. So I do reduce fat with 2% milk cheese. So I have some sharp cheddar cheese with some carrots and it's actually good to pair carrots with something that has fat in it such as like hummus something that has like good fat is preferable like healthy fats like avocados um olive oil is a healthy fat but that wouldn't really go like that well with carrots um um nuts and seeds are healthy fat basically you want to have um a healthy fat with carrots because carrots have a type of vitamin that is digested in the body with fats. So there's some that are digested with water, there's some that are digested with fats, and carrots is one that's fats. So that's a little bit of why I pair like cheese with carrots, but it also just tastes good. I really like it. <laughs> it's like better than eating it with ranch, which like I do have a ranch that is made with uh, Greek yogurt, so it's only like 45 calories and it's, ah, it's low fat. drop like all the way down all right so i do have um a type of uh ranch that i like it's by bolt house farms um and like i said it's made with greek yogurt so um yeah like so that would be good as well with um carrots so but basically you do want a little bit of fat with your carrots and i choose cheese so i have cheese and carrots later i also have yogurt i have greek yogurt it's a white ghost triple zero it has 15 grams of protein, I believe, um, and it has zero added sugar. It uses a natural sugar. I um, can't remember whether it's stevia or xylitol or erythritol. Um, basically, it's a natural sweetener, um, so it's no calories, um, and it's also like it's not added sugar. Um, when they say added sugar, they mean cane sugar. It's the um, stuff that you know like it's the white powdery or not powdery but you know the white granular like sugar that you put like in cookies and stuff like it's none of that no added sugar like that so that's why i have it and their flavors are really good i have a cinnamon apple uh oh triple zero oh it goes yogurt and i also have granola um that is that has like cinnamon and apples in it so like it's like dried apples with like some cinnamon and it's granola so I'm gonna pair those together um so that's also what I have today um and uh what else what else what else I don't know uh, I have oranges and uh bananas I should have another vegetable but I don't I have spaghetti or like I have squash at home I keep meaning to turn it into spaghetti squash but I haven't yet <laughs> um I really like spaghetti squash um it's a good spaghetti alternative and I load it up with vegetables and just put pasta sauce with it um I'll probably put another like I'll probably put a recipe on um, my channel um, at some point but um yeah so yeah, um, apple, like oranges and uh, bananas that I have. I can't remember whether I have anything else for today, but that's basically it. Um, and those are why I chose it. I don't have a technical like lunch. I'm more of like snack when I can since I'm always at school. Um, I just kind of, you know, if I feel like having some oranges, like I'll eat that before class or like once I get out of class, if I'm so hungry, like I'll eat my banana, you know, or like if I have a chance where I can kind of sit down somewhere, I'll eat my, you know, yogurt with granola. Like, um, if I'm on the go, Ooh, I do have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I just remember that if I'm on the go, that's my favorite go-to because you just, you know, um, and like keeping health in mind, um, especially since it's the winter and you don't want to get sick. Um, I have like my um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a plastic bag and I just kind of peel the top of the plastic bag over so that I'm only touching the Ziploc bag. I'm not touching the sandwich itself. Because a lot of times I, if I'm on the go, I can't wash my hands uh, before I eat. So I use the plastic to cover my hands and so that I don't make contact with the food. So anyways. Um, so yeah, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's made with whole wheat bread, 
Um, it's made with peanut butter that has no sugar added. Peanut butter is a healthy type of fat. Um, and then I have some jelly with it that is made from just fruit juices. So if you can find something other than uh, like jam to have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like that would be better because even though it is made with fruit and fruit juices, it's not a healthy whole fruit is better so like instead of having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I, I should have like you know like maybe whole wheat toast with uh you know with peanut butter on it and then strawberries on the side you know what I mean the strawberries themselves are going to be better for you than in jam form even if there's no added sugar but um you know it's one of those things where it's kind of like you know, uh, you can't win them all. Like, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not that bad. So, in my opinion, um, for, from my experience, I don't deem it as bad. It's more of, like, when it does have added sugar. Um, so, so, yeah, that's what I have for my lunch today. This is day one. Um, I am going to try to exercise today. I don't have an actual, like, plan yet for what I want to do, but I do want to run. So I was thinking about doing like a mile and seeing what my time is. That way, the next time I do a mile, maybe like next week, um, I'll let you guys know whatever I decide my um, exercise kind of routine is going to be on a daily basis. But um, I'm thinking that I can run a mile, see what my time is, and then next week run a mile and see whether my time has improved. So. That's my plan for today. I've got work, I've got school, I've got, you know, hanging out with friends a little bit. It's gonna be a long day, but I'm hoping I can squeeze this mile run in there. And, um, and like I said, I packed my lunch, I've got no excuse. <laughs> so, yep, I think it'll be a good day. And um, I will make another video tomorrow, day two. All right, bye.